not having an easy time finding an available parking meter in San Francisco? It may be because too many of them are taken by drivers with handicap placards who shouldn't have them at all. We're talking about those handicap cheats. Just check out Townsend between 1st and 2nd next to the ballpark on April 23rd, two and a half hours before the evening game began. Out of 12 cars parked at meters on this street, 10 had handicap placards. Is this your car? The blue one. These two young ladies came racing out of one. We raced to catch up to them. You applied for it. What was that for? Um, I have a medical condition. I'm just wondering why so many people have the handicap placards here. I gotta go. I'm a <laughs> and it's not just this street alone. We turned the corner onto King, then spotted the same situation all the way down the Embarcadero. An estimated 30,000 handicap placards are given out yearly. The question is, how many belong to cheaters? It's not a nice a thing to fine. do. Nice thing to do. It's not it's a, a nice very, thing to do. It's a very, very expensive fine. And we just learned San Francisco loses 17 to $18 million a year in revenue from these disabled placards. So we went to the SFMTA to find out about their enforcing this situation. They say the crackdown is on to find the cheats. That's why the fines went up from 103 to $825 as of January 1st. In the first quarter of this current fiscal year, we saw a 93.5% increase in the number of citations issued, and that was before the rates even went up January 1st. The hardest part, catching those with no obvious medical condition. It's labor intensive. Can the enforcement agent, can he, does he go to each car, call in the number that he sees on the handicap placard, and then be able to see whether that person... Part of it is checking the number to make sure it's legit. Part of it is seeing if you can tell through the windshield whether it's counterfeit or not. If someone comes leaping out of the car and does a few somersaults, you're probably going to get the feeling that's not the person's placard. We showed Bond our iPhone video that found 10 out of the 12 cars parked at meters on one block, clearly displaying handicap placards. I can't tell you, first of all, that all these placards are legit and not stolen or counterfeit. Have you heard about the ballpark issue before? The no, ballpark? I haven't, to be honest, and I live right near there. I Bond live. took some notes. What I would ask you to do is send me the video. I'd like to give it to our law enforcement people because the baseball season's just beginning and there are lots of games. In San Francisco, Stacy Ciari, NBC Bay Area News.